So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some specific tips on how you can work with YouTube. Um, I started taking tremendous interest in uh, YouTube because it is the platform that uh, uh, it's going to actually live the longest in the content that you produce. So whatever you produce right now, it's going to be uh, there for a number of years. So if you want to know what those tips are, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to put the notification bell and keep on listening in. So the first thing that we need to learn in order for us to understand how to deal with creating content in YouTube is that we need to have a little bit of and consistency. This is the number one secret that you need to have. So first of all, you need to be consistent. And this uh, picture actually describes it very well. It's exactly like a diet. I mean, you cannot be, di you cannot be on a diet for one day and then eat uh, three chocolate cakes and two pizzas the next day because it's not going to work. You need to be consistent so that you can actually get the results. And you need to be patient because once again, we need a number of different videos. So how many videos do you need in YouTube in order for you for YouTube to start thinking, well, you know, he's a serious uh, content creator. And we heard it on the uh, previous episode of uh, Fast Forward, and it was 412 videos in order for you to get YouTube to start already considering you a uh, serious uh, YouTuber. Dave, do you agree with me that patience and consistency is absolutely critical? It is, and it's also about taking action and having a roadmap. I mean, one of the things that we're, we do here is we share content with you, but we also have the ability to mentor and move people forward because so many people are putting stuff out there and it's rubbish. I've had a big problem with absolutely. people on LinkedIn for ages. Because I love LinkedIn, but all the people that I see putting out lots of clickbait saying, oh, look, a cat's been rescued from a tree. Isn't it nice when people take the time to look after animals? I'm like, well, where's that going? What's the point in doing that? You've got a ton of likes, a ton of loves, but what a load of old rubbish. So it's got to be in a direction. You've got to be able to monetize it, and you've got to make it close to your brand to actually make it effective. And so, yeah, I think the pieces you put out are important, but it's not the only thing. Correct. So in order for you to start doing content which is not rubbish, you need to understand that it is a sweat equity asset. Just taking your camera and saying, hello, this is something, whatever, I'm, that just, those kind of videos do not really work and they're absolutely rubbish and you should not really be doing it. You have to invest some time and some effort in creating good videos because if not, nothing is going to really uh, stick and that's the thing that you would not like to do it now how do you create content which is not going to be rubbish well i'm going to change your mind with this next slide so please pay attention because this is absolutely critical and absolutely important so what you need to do is you need to understand that yes content is king however title is queen and who's the who's the boss in the castle <laughs> the queen not the king the king might be <laughs> would you agree with that <laughs> we so think we're in charge we until we get told to shut up and sit down exactly so what we have to do is we have to before we start crafting the video we have to figure out the title your title needs to be intriguing your title needs to be different your title needs to uh, talk about something which is going to make people say oh my goodness this is great so before you start creating your content, you have to make sure that you figure out what your title is going to be about. Let me just show you what is exactly what I uh, mean with this. See, for example, I've been working with one of our speakers, uh, Frank Mulcahy, that you possibly have heard, heard, uh, heard me uh, talking about earlier. And uh, on his YouTube channel, he had a video that had this thumbnail. So you can see just uh, over here, that was his thumbnail on that video. So as you can see, I mean, you see that video and uh, few people will click on it, but they will have, I mean, because of course they, uh, he's telling them, please click on it. How would you actually get people to click on that? I mean, and, and, and by the way, that's a great video of him explaining about cyber theft and uh, protecting your identity about cyber crooks. But guess what happened? Nobody was clicking on it. 
But then we said, you know what? The mo most important thing is to start crafting the name of the video. And this is what we created. So it's exactly the same picture. Are you protecting your identity from crooks? Do you think that's going to make people think and say, oh my goodness, I do not know, let me find out. And then of course, if that piece of content is good, people are going to be watching it, which is of course the next piece. But before I go to the, into the next piece, which is engagement and retention, what you need to understand is that that every single video that you upload in YouTube needs to have a proper thumbnail. What is a thumbnail? The first screenshot that you get. You can see a big, big difference. And right now, if you go to YouTube, you're going to see that a lot of videos have thumbnails. Right now, in fact, YouTube will not really uh, favor your, your video unless it has a proper thumbnail. And as you can see, if you see the video here, and if you see the video here, it is already making a big, big difference. So we need the video needs to be great, but the need the, the video in order for you to make it really shoot to the roof, it has to create engagement and it has to keep the retention level uh, as high as possible. So what exactly does that mean? Well, first of all, engagement means that people are going to be watching. If your video is not watched at least 50 to 60%, it's, uh, YouTube is going to think, well, you know, it's not interesting. Now, I, and I have to tell you, this is what I have been noticing. Some of the videos, some of our videos that are watched over 35 to 40 percent are the ones which are doing the best. Uh, we have a few videos which are doing right now 65 percent that people see 65 percent of them. And those are doing OK. But the videos which people are watching the most are the ones which are having 35 to 45 percent that they watch 35 to 45 percent of the time and that is very important so that basically is very critical so that is the engagement now what is the retention the retention is that you keep them on your channel so that you don't have just one video but you need to have a number of different videos so that's why you have to create volume exactly as uh, gary v uh, was uh, was saying and that's just really absolutely uh, critical and uh, last but not least I have you I, I need you to think in the following way. So whenever you're creating a piece of content, this is the mindset that you need to get. You're going to create a piece of content thinking whatever I'm creating, whatever piece of content of a video that I am creating has to get people to say, you know what? I know somebody that is going to benefit from this content that I am creating. We uh, tested this with a video that uh, Dave did recently about the Black Lives Matter movement. And it's incredibly powerful. When somebody says to themselves, oh my goodness, this video I'm watching right now, it's something that I need to share, or it's something that somebody else needs to see, you have the right formula. Absolutely. That video, and we shared it, I think it was last week we shared how to make a video like that uh, it rattled around on so many social media got reshared had a ton of passionate comments about it and it was really effective and it was because it was simple because it was a very simple message as well but only appearing around that easy to go with and for many people especially i mean we've got an incredible group of superstars who are now watching this right now they've all been at the top of their game and they're all googleable um the hardest bit is taking yourself out of this because you're used to being the star and driving it through your own personality. But right now, there's a glut of personalities out there. There's so many people who can talk in front of a microphone and talk in front of a camera who can share their stories. And here's the biggest challenge. They're all better looking and younger than we are. It's just the truth. So if you want to be effective with it, you have to find a way to position yourself as the mentor and position yourself as delivering their story, not yours. Uh, there's four important elements that you need to know when you are creating videos for YouTube. First of all, you need to have an upload schedule. That means that uh, if you're going to be uploading one video per week, then it needs to be done. For example, if you're going to be doing it on Wednesday, then you do it on Wednesday. And uh, every Wednesday, you know that uh, you're going to be uploading your video. The second thing that you need to have is a content calendar. Uh, right now, what, what Dave and I do, and possibly you have seen it already with the uh, uh, Toilet Paper Diaries and also Fast Forward, is we say the name of this week is going to be uh, Virtual Makeovers. And we do the whole thing on Virtual Makeovers. Um, we uh, are going to be doing another week on, on superheroes. We're going to do another one 
on the brand new you. So every time we have different contents that we say our week is going to be dedicated to that and we're going to cover from every aspect, we're going to be covering this topic so that, of course, we have a lot of cloud uh, for, 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 for us creating content for that specific topic. Now, a content calendar doesn't mean that you only have to have one theme, but you can also say, I can also just be working, uh, for example, if we're going to be, if you are in in uh, in the restaurant business or if you are in, in the hotel industry or whatever it is, you can say, well, we're going to be doing uh, September, it has uh, such and such different holidays. And then July, we're going to be having the 4th of July and we're going to be having different calendar things that you can do. But that right now is very difficult to create. So the best way that we can tell you is, okay, dedicate one full day to cover many aspects of one specific topic. And then the next day you do the next thing, the next thing, and then you are going to start creating the next uh, important aspect, which is going to be your playlists. So you're going to have your playlists, which, for example, if you have several avatars, you're going to say, okay, this this playlist is going to be for my clients which are into identity theft in in the case of uh, frank but frank doesn't only do identity theft he also does workplace bullying so he does another week which is going to be on workplace bullying and then his next thing is going to be on two or three of the different topics that he's uh, usually uh, creating and you separate in your uh, uh, youtube channel you have your different playlists because that's going to create an amazing library right now if you go to youtube.com forward slash speak in dubai you're going to find an amazing library of incredible videos that we have created in the past uh, 100 days so that's just incredible and that is so impressive for anybody that is going to hire us all we need to say is well you know this is our body of work people get incredibly impressed that's why it's so critical and last point is you need to understand the YouTube milestones because this is exactly what's going to keep you into the right direction and you're not going to have a mo you're not going to have a moving finish line. So what are the milestones? Milestone number 1, you need to have 100 subscribers. Why do you need 100 subscribers? Because after 100 subscribers you will be able to call your channel whatever you want. Before that, it's just going to have a random number with random letters, and it's just not going to look very good. So that's your first milestone. Your second milestone, it's going to be 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers might take you possibly three to four months, which I think it's already uh, perfectly fine. And uh, that's going to be when YouTube says, well, you know, this is somebody which is doing things correctly. Now, these 1,000 subscribers are not going to happen if you have only 10 videos or 20 videos. So together with that milestone, you need to have exactly, as uh, Gary Vaynerchuk was saying, you need to have at least 50 videos. And you know you're going to say, oh, my goodness, this is overwhelming. Yes, it is overwhelming if you think that you have to do, every, uh, that you have to do this immediately. And this is the reason why... The YouTubers, YouTubers are successful, but right now most of the Generation X and most of the uh, baby boomers are not successful because, of course, they are thinking, well, I want the microwave uh, solution. I want the re results right now. While the YouTubers, they are spending so much time in YouTube that they don't mind actually keep on unloading and uploading and uploading content. You need to, you need to know that this is going to take you a little bit of time. So that's the next one. You need to have your 50, uh, your 50 uh, videos. And then when you really take off is when you start having over... Uh, 412 videos. As we were mentioning, we have right now uh, four, uh, 518 videos in the channel. However, have we achieved incredible uh, growth? No. Let me tell you why not. Because we started uploading videos without really knowing what we were doing. All these secrets that we are sharing with you are how we are doing it right now. We took It took us a number of different uh, videos and uploads and whatever made this content. But right now, we are already seeing the incremental growth, and this is the absolute power. We were saying that storytelling is the number one skill, and the second skill that you really need to learn in order for you to be successful in the digital world is going to be video editing. And that is just absolutely critical. If you 
do not really know anything about video editing, you won't be able to create these videos. How much has it meant to you learning to do video editing? Um, it's probably been the most important skill that I have, apart from my ability to engage and speak to others audiences because it means I'm not dependent on anybody and it also means I'm able to come up with stuff that's really creative get it myself put it all together and send it out to the market now previously what would happen is if you wanted to engage in an agency to look after your brand or get a freelancer to create really creative stuff for you I mean we know from experience you're talking five hundred dollars for creating a kind of video along the likes of the one i i shared today because it took me about maybe two three hours to put that video together i can churn them out and you can do it the same with this and it's becoming an unbelievable skill it's like a martial art of marketing that most people don't realize and what it does is it elevates you above the game most people get their phone they hold it like that and they talk now if you're good looking which is what we're not if you're young which is what we're not as well and if you've got a cleavage well we got that then people will watch you and they'll love it and they'll like it but that doesn't mean necessarily you're producing stuff content that they will want to share they just quite like to ogle the content is really effective and if you put it into a right position it will work so what that means ultimately is there's a massive gap in the market for self-generated content that reaches a certain type of clients right now i'm actually not in my normal studio because i've had a challenge with my laptop i'm downstairs i'm on my wife's laptop um, ernesto's got his backdrop here now most of the guys who started at home trevor noah stephen colbert um, Bill Mayer, they had to go from studio full of people clapping and screaming to at home, what's your house like? And after doing it for three, four months, they've all gone, I've had enough. I can't generate content. I don't want to talk politics. I don't want to talk about the virus and while, and then wait to see how the market develops. And then I'll come back. Maybe we'll be in a studio or maybe we'll have some new zoom type thing that allows me to talk to people in a virtual world. Now here's the important thing. You can jump into that gap right now with what you do. And if you take the techniques that Ernesto is sharing about planting it out there and growing it, planting it and growing it, by the time these guys come back, yeah, they'll still get their market, but you'll be in it as well. And that's why it's key to learn these skills because it's cost effective and it means you can do it at any time and just produce it and get it out there. There's two questions that uh, every time I talk about these with my clients, they ask me, well, how can I learn to do uh, video editing? Well, it depends on what you're using. I mean, are you a Mac user? If you are a Mac user, uh, one of the things that it's great about the Mac is that they already have iMovies. You edit everything with iMovies, right, Dave? So it is Absolutely. already there. It's not, it's not going to cost you anything. Uh, the software is very uh, user-friendly, and uh, you can just go to Udemy or Udemy, whatever you want to call it. Normally, they run these uh, specials, and you can buy a... A quick course on how to do video editing. It's actually fairly simple. If you can do PowerPoint, you will be able to do video editing. And I'm, we're going to be sharing with you some amazing ideas on how you can actually create content and churn content like crazy. Now, if you are a PC user, the software that I recommend, it's called Movavi, M-O-V-A-V-I. It's about $35. It's worth buying because it's very simple. This is the simplest that you can use. And you can start creating some amazing, amazing video content that is going to, of course, take you, uh, make you look a lot more professional than those people which are just taking their phone and saying, uh, hello, I am right now here. This is John Smith. Those videos are, you know, they are okay, but they're very amateurish. We have now evolved and we cannot keep on just doing what we were doing in the past. So I hope that you enjoyed all these tips. And please, if you enjoyed everything that we were sharing, make sure to subscribe and get into the notification bell so that we can give us, we can give you more and more amazing content in the Fast Forward Show. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure you watch one of these two videos afterwards. And Ernesto, what, why are you staring up on top of my head? Dave, your hair is actually thinning out. Well, if it is, it's about the only thing getting thin on this show. Here on this side, we have some more amazing videos for you to watch.